hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to insert json objects inside the pdf document with the help of uh, jspdf library guys so in this tutorial we will be looking at how to insert json objects something like this let me show you a short little demo here so basically a pdf file will be automatically downloaded when you load the page and you will see these three properties are being inserted which is first name last name first name last name and first name last name so these three are kind of objects here you will see these are json objects and we are inserting it using a for each loop using jspdf library so i will be writing the code step by step so that you can understand the code pretty well so in this tutorial we will be inserting json objects and converting it to a pdf document something like this so let's start building this application guys so for this we will be using the jspdf library so you will know this jspdf library which is a very awesome library client side javascript pdf generation library in order to generate pdf documents so we will be using this library at the client side so we will make a simple javascript file here so sorry html file and here i will just change the title that uh, jspdf insert json objects inside pdf document so right here guys what we need to do is that we need to include the js file of jspdf i have written a complete blog post in my website this is coding siksha so you can go to the video description link i have given in the video description this is my blog post and uh, you will see that this is the source code that you will need so we need to copy this script tag which you can see that after the body you need to paste it right here so this is the thing you need to do guys you need to paste the script tag which is the cdn for a jspdf library now after that what you need to do is that we need to create a something like object so inside this basically we will have a simple button so we will say convert json objects to pdf document so here inside this guys we can create a let's suppose a simple object so we can simply say we can name this as users so this will be an array of objects so the first object here will be name and name will be let's suppose Gautam and then we have the second property which is age which is 28 so will we put a comma there is a second property which is name this can be John and this time the age will be 32 so we have a array of objects here you will see that this contains two objects this is the first object this is the second object now we need to insert this object in a PDF document so now to do this it is very easy you need to first of all initialize your jspdf library for initializing it we will simply declare doc and we will say new jspdf like this so after declaring this guys we will use the for each loop on this array which is users basically you can see that we will use the users array and inside this guys what we need to do is that we will instead we will use the callback function so we will use the callback function so basically here we will say that for each user and this is the index value of the user and what we need to do is that we need to insert the user so this will be a callback function so we need to insert each object each user in, in this case so here we will simply use the text method of uh, jspdf and uh, here we will provide the x and the co y coordinate which is uh, x coordinate will be 50 and the y coordinate will change each time this will be 10 plus i which is the index number multiplied by 10 so this will be dynamically every time it will change after each iteration put a comma and then the value that you need to insert so we will be inserting the name parameter so put a space here and uh, this will be 
plus you just need to integrate your uh, you will say that uh, users user dot name so these are the two properties which are there user dot name so after that guys what we need to do is that if you just type here we need to give the age of the person as well so age so this will be equal to our uh, imp user dot h that's it now we need to have a new line character that's it so that's all that you need to do guys now we simply need to save this document save this pdf document so in this easy way guys you can just uh, insert any sort of complex uh, object you can give the name of the pdf document so if you run this now if you click the button here simply if i click the button so now you will see it hasn't created it i think we need to give it a on click so when we click the button what should happen so we will give it a on click so when we click this button we need to convert we will call this function here which is convert and now we need to wrap all this code so we will wrap all this code inside this function which is convert that's it so now if you uh, click the button you will see a output.pdf file will be created and now you will see these two have these two properties which is name age like this you will see name is equal to Gautam and age 28 so this is all the dynamic data you can see that inside this object you can get this data from the API which is coming the dynamic data which is coming and uh, in this way you can print out the data inside your PDF document using JS PDF library so this can have three properties as well so if i have subject property let's suppose uh, computer science i put this so it can have as much properties as you can imagine so i can change this to maths so once again what you can do is that you can add one other property here which is subject this will be equal to user dot subject plus that's it so now we have i think if i once again refresh so now you will see guys we will have three properties which are printed out which is name age and su subject so in this e easy way guys you can print out properties from a series of uh, array of objects inside your pdf document using js pdf library all the source code will be there inside video description i have given that source code and also guys please join the facebook group here i will give you source code also answer your questions and i will also show you my earnings website traffic all this stuff already 278 members are there the link i have given in the live chat pinned comment and also in the video description so please join this facebook group and i will be seeing you in the next stream